Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, certainly in weather like this, you want to be mindful of your pets. Today is day two of what should be a six-day streak where the temperature never gets above 32, above freezing. So uh, the deep freeze continues, even some snow and perhaps accumulating snow in the forecast. But in the short term, we're not dealing with that. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, we're no snow coming out of the sky, at least not yet. Doppler radar verifies that. Skies are crystal clear, extremely dry air, and obviously very cold. And we'll continue with the dry conditions overnight as the temperatures hour by hour continue to drop off. Providence already down to nine. We've been running at a wind chill of four degrees below zero. The wind's not that strong. It's west northwest at nine. But it's just enough of a wind to produce wind chills that are just below the zero mark, and that'll continue all night long. In fact, here are the latest wind chills now running anywhere from zero to around five below, five below in Newport, two above in Westerly. And again, this is all a function of the wind speed as well as the temperature. Feels more like 15 below in Worcester. In fact, there's a wind chill advisory for central and western Massachusetts, but no wind chill advisory here, even though we do have wind chills that are just below zero. Usually you have to get down to 20, 25 below for a wind chill advisory to be issued. Skies are crystal clear. Temperatures in northern New England running about 20 to 25 degrees below zero. Actual air temperature, uh, not even the wind chill. So overnight through tomorrow morning, we're talking about another very frigid morning, 7 a.m. on average five, but some spots will be close to zero to start the day. And even with the sunshine, I mean, the temperature, uh, the the temperatures really don't respond that much. I mean, 11 o'clock in the morning, it's only 13 degrees above zero, setting up for another very cold afternoon. All right, take a look at your future cast. We'll start off uh, this evening and throughout the overnight on average in the low single digits, but some spots uh, getting close to zero. And certainly tomorrow morning, near zero or slightly above, and then rising through around 10 degrees, sunshine, bitter cold. Here's the problem tomorrow. The winds will start to pick up, especially during the afternoon. So we're forecasting only 21 with sunshine, but with a gusty wind, wind chills at times will be close to zero as well. So another very cold day coming up, even though the atmosphere is dry and we have sunshine. Here we are city by city and town by town, around 15 to 21 from south to north. Low 20s on the south shore. You get further north, some of the higher elevations, uh, temperatures around 15, 16 degrees, and out across southeastern Massachusetts. Very windy, wind chills near zero, and the actual air temperature in the upper teens to lower 20s. Here's our seven day outlook, and kind of a different look. It's a new seven day graphic, kind of a polished look, uh, debuting this this evening, uh, <coughs> but it's more interactive. In other words, there's a lot of information actually embedded within the seven day future cast. So I'm going to be doing this every night during our weather cast, giving you more detail more pinpoint information to get you through the next couple of hours, the next couple of days, and the week ahead. In fact, let me show you uh, the bus stop forecast tomorrow morning. Obviously very frigid early on, temperatures single digits as the kids come home from school, uh, only topping out at around 20 degrees. Now we talked about that snow potential on Friday. Friday day is fine. In fact, it's sunny. It's later Friday night, Saturday morning. How close an ocean storm comes will determine whether or not we get snow. I think it comes close enough to give us at least some small accumulations and and again, this would be late Friday night into early on Saturday morning. Look, it takes until Monday to get above freezing, and the pattern does change early next week. We start to see milder air in the Midwest being carried in on southwest breezes as the core of the cold air moves out and temperatures finally recover, but it does not happen until the early part of next week. So in the meantime, the deep freeze continues, and we even throw in a little bit of snow here uh, late Friday night into early Saturday morning and a rebounding shot of cold air settling in for the uh, weekend as well. So a brand new seven day future cast we debut tonight and actually new weather graphics and maps and animations in the next couple of days and couple of weeks to give you a different uh, weather content and more detailed information. So kind of some exciting stuff in the weather department. We like You're that. just a busy bee, Tony. Busy bee, trying to keep warm. Okay, right. thanks, Tony. All right. Coming up next.